Let's play. Uh, welcome back, viewers, to another episode of Let's Play Schmoogle Dee Doogle for the Poodle Pad. Get out your brushes, because this is going to be one smooth puppy. Uh, I don't even know, man. I'm tired. My room is hot. I'm doing a lot of things today. Ready to relax, but I'm not going to relax. Going to record another episode because I'm not. I'm not going to have time later this week. Working another long stretch of days, but that's what you get for having no motivation in life and having a shit job. Yep. But I'm not bitter. Just about to die. Ate that health potion just in time. But I also used my, uh... I also used my defensive cooldown. Without even realizing it. Um... Another thing that I could do... That I haven't done yet. Because I have this, it teleports you so I could... If I get stuck in a big mob pack and they're all hitting me, I could always just teleport out. But they still don't have that much health, so... They go down pretty quick. These guys do elemental damage, so... A lot of times that can be a little, um, and, uh, I'm going to have to recommend offhand reading all about your, reading the tooltips for your abilities fully, because there's certain things, like, that might not be reflected in the overview of your stats. Uh, I don't recall whether or not this buff that I'm using right now gives me vulnerabilities. But as a for example, uh, my dryad has uh, my dryad has like insane physical defense, and I just stand I stand right in the middle of like enormous packs of mobs, enormous mobs. I guess There's, that's supposed to be whatever. Um, and like they don't even really do a debt to my health. However, unfortunately, uh, her, uh, her buff that gives her that, her, that defensive strength also, um, gives her a weakness to fire, which, uh, I've gotten killed a couple times by fire. Looks like I could just stand outside the store and throw my blizzard and just kill everything with that. In fact, I think I have. Pretty much. These things are... Oh, okay. I thought they were all friendly. What are you guys doing, man? This guy's still standing here. He's just chilling out. He's kicking my ass. I must not have much defense, because that guy was just, like, railing hit after hit on me. Sweet, he was railing hits off my ass, which could set up a really weird picture. It's a good thing I decided to play as a female, because then it's not gay. <laughs> I did once, I had a... <laughs> I had a female character in WoW, and uh, this person wanted to do some erotic RP because... Of course, in the video game reality, I was uh, a female. So, d I obviously went totally homophobic on him and was like, No fucking way, fag! <laughs> Actually, I was like, I'll rub your dick, son. I'll rub your dick. Just put it right in my hands. Don't worry, they're not dry and cracked from stocking roast race. Am I rubbing your dick too hard, or is that right? Is that alright? Is that the way to touch your dick, or do you want me to touch your dick another way? You tell me. <laughs> oh, God. By the gods. By the gods. Sacre Dieu. 
or Sacra Blue, which is like my, my I haven't like nobody's told me this, but I've uh, derived from my own understandings that Sacra Blue must be like the French way of like you know how people say like that they want to say like Jesus Christ and they say like cheese and rice. So I think Sacra Blue is like the French way of being um, of being all like prim and proper like I'm not gonna take the Lord's name in vain instead I'll take a color's name in vain and then like you get you die and you go you get like go to heaven or maybe it's called Kevin <laughs> maybe that's where you go when you die you go to Kevin and then it's like God is actually the color blue and you're like fuck He's like, I see you have been taking my name in vain. Blue is not amused. You know? He's like, he's like, bitch, guess wrong. And then like, there's like a hundred thousand people that like, worshipped orange all their life. And then Blue is like, you fucking idiot, you believe that shit? It was so obvious. Of course it wasn't orange. It was blue, you stupid shit. Go to hell. No, I'm not speaking in figures of speech. I'm sending you to hell right now. I'm gonna put my blue massive god boot on your face and just push you right down, give you a little nudge, and send you to hell where you can hang out with orange all you like, you fucker. You godless bastard. You son of a bitch. All right, let's, I'm gonna come over here and fight these mobs now. There you have it. What if God was the color blue? That thought should be accompanied by light jazz. Gotta love the way they explode in a in a stylized gout of blood. Yes. Yes, sir. See, when I'm tired and I'm drinking, that is when I do some of my strangest commentary. These are the things that my own highlight videos are made of. Fatigue and drunkenness. Like anybody cares about my highlight videos. Uh, let's see. Pop a potion. I don't know what's going on. I was trying to get my spells to go off and they weren't going off. And I teleported... I just decided to do everything wrong, but my, I swear my controls were not responding. I couldn't get anything to happen. So we made another level. Uh, I couldn't tell if that was an orgasm or a death gasp. Kinda sounded like a little bit of both. I'm a little bit concerned about that. We need to talk, buddy. We need to talk. Alright, so I need to pump five points into writing eventually if I want to get perception and I decide that I'm going to keep writing. I'm going to keep on writing till I die, motherfucker. You know? Once again, with the white people thinking that they're hip hop, but you know what that's all about. Don't worry, there's no no kittens are gonna wind up in this video. That's a joke only I would get, because who else watches all of my stuff? So that was a that was a first. I I actually used my defensive cooldown on purpose there. Which is something that I never do. Man. I taught, like, at this level, this area is just like an XP bonanza. I love it. And it's really just fun to run around. Alright, anyway, I've I've always enjoyed it on my Dryad. The Dryad's a slightly different playstyle, but... It's a little bit more like you just sort of set all of your stuff up and... You got a lot of doodads that kind of kill everything. 
That's just that particular build of Dryad. Not all of Dryads. There's a few builds. Um, I think you can play a Dryad as melee. And uh, there's at least one or two builds for, uh, like, ranged weapon build, which they are interesting. I, uh, I've been playing around with one on the console, the PS3, lately, and I'm up to about level... That would indeed mean a great deal of progress. Wait, where do I gotta go now? Okay. So I did something. What? Wait, what? I was just thinking, I was wondering if we'll uh, get to the next boss in this video. That would be boss! Right on. Grade A puns right here. It's not the grade B puns that they give the prisoners and enlisted people. That's like that's like the big rumor, you know what I'm saying? When when we were in the Navy and stuff. <laughs> Do you remember when we were in the Navy? Weren't you there? Um, but the, you know we would all say like, you know the rumor was that the 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 food was. You know, from like the prison system, and that they rejected it. Like they couldn't, they couldn't use it in prisons, so they gave it to us. And uh, to be honest with you, if that was true, I feel sorry for prisoners, because uh, okay. So I hate to do this, but I got, I got to sell loot. I shouldn't even be picking up gray items. I don't know why that's happening. So we'll just sell those. Uh, this game, there's two options for item quality threshold for picking up and I don't understand how they're different. Um, basically that just I mean that speaks to essentially how big and complicated this game is you know that I've been playing it as long as I have and I still don't know everything. Great, I cleaned up my inventory so I could pick up some gray piece of shit. Alright. Uh, FML, man. Okay. Word. Oh, man, we need some inventory management up in this piece. We can't go this way. Not quite. Gotta go around a little bit. Whoa! Hold on. I think I hear... AOE calling my name. I saw a lot of red dots. That means a lot of stuff that's gotta die. Die, motherfucker, die. Alright. I'm gonna dip out here, grab some enemies. Throw that up. I remember I was like, um, what was, I was like, I'm trying to remember this exactly, I was, I'm gonna say, let's say, I think I was like 14 years old, I'd say I was 14, right, and my dad lived in this, in this apartment building, whatever, it's kind of a shitty area, but it's actually not far from where I'm living now, it's actually a few blocks away. Um, and I went to the playground one day, right? And I, so I went to the playground and I, I got on the swings. So I, I was doing some swing stuff, you know, I was swinging around. Maybe even thinking about hot dogging and like going over the top or something. And then these kids came up and they were like, Yo, dog, what sex you claim? And they were like, they were like 12. I was like, and I was like, what? What? set do I claim and I'm like uh well I don't know what you're talking about I'm like Sesame Street uh what what <laughs> and it's like uh, that sounds like some math shit to me son what the fuck are you trying to talk about matrices and shit fucking sets sets dog do you even lift bro do you even lift 
Alright, something in there stuns you. One of those mobs does a stun. They're the number one stunner. Oh man, I hate the lightning in this game. It's just not right. It's it's like an epilep 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 epic black it epic black and black black and black and work a frick a frick a frickin' now. I did that all on purpose, and I just blew your fucking mind. I'm blowing your mind this time. This time, this time. That's uh, you know, the thing. Oh, uh, this this chapter um is actually pretty short if you don't want to do any side quests. And I don't think there's really a whole lot of side quests here. But I, I find this to be a pretty good area for grinding. Uh, by which I mean I enjoy grinding here and it seems to be pretty effective. I, I, I don't know man, I feel like that's why I can never be a power gamer because I feel like too many people they go like, well this is like the perfect grinding spot because it's like the maximum XP or something. And it, To me it's like, you know, the number one important thing is you know, is it fun to play there? Because if it's not fun, I'm not going to do it. Like, I'm not a gamer that's going to play some shit that's not fun, you know, because I started it and I have to finish it. Believe me, I've quit plenty of things in my life, and I'm going to quit some more shit before I'm dead, so I ain't too worried about it. That's all I'm saying. If your shit's not fun, I ain't gonna play. I don't know why I'm using that voice. How bezlin of you. I'm just gonna go ahead and coin my own term after myself. So, as if you couldn't uh, tell by my previous comment, we are on our we are on the run up up to the boss. I'm still trying to make these episodes shorter, but it, the problem, unfortunately... <laughs> How true. How true. See, they do have a, a sense of humor with this game. Y'all can't say they don't. Alright, so this guy's gonna do some shit with the water. He's going to make it rain. He's going to make it rain up in the strip club. I also farted. See ya. <laughs> I farted. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. That was perfect. I decided I was going to start saying that before he disappeared, and then he just played right along with it, and I was like, thanks, pal. You helped me make a lame joke that nobody is going to watch this far and see, or even care about, and the shrugging of their shoulders will be not heard around the world. And my voice just cracked, too. All of this is just so awesome that I can barely stand it. In fact, I'm pretty sure that when I do try to stand up, I'm probably, I'm probably going to stumble backwards a bit. I do feel I lament a little bit the vo sheer volume of beer belches that I am putting into the microphone. So we are at the boss. I guess we'll just fight him and hopefully we won't die. Throw that down on him. He does a lot of knockback type of stuff. Oh, never mind, he does the other. He knocks you forward. Well, I don't really have to pay much attention right now. I just teleported and shit. Ooh, that stuff's bad, goop. Can't stand in that. Wow, this guy is just making himself look bad. I mean, this shouldn't be this easy, right? I 
can't find my mouse cursor now. <sighs> you shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> I don't know. That okay. That won't be. That wouldn't be as easy on a higher difficulty. I feel fairly certain of that. Oh, oh, so. See, I'm not sure that this doesn't happen. Like, what the fuck? Stop doing that. I don't care about used screws. I don't even know where they are, and I don't want them. Dog, stop tripping. Shit. Why are you be tripping? Let's just see the map. Where do we need to go? Over here. Alright, so that's pretty much the end of this act. Uh, unlike Diablo 3, you don't get cinematics for the end of every act, but... You know what? After playing a couple um, Diablo clones and stuff, I will ever get used to these tiny villages. I've kind of started to feel like fuck Diablo three. It's it's fun and it's kind of cool, but it's it's an action it's an action game. It's not even an RPG, so they fucked it up and. Like, well, I mean, okay, it's an RPG. I'm going overboard saying that, but... <clears throat> like... It's just... Now make the most of it. It's it's the opposite of empowering, whatever that means. Because, like, all they do is, like, it's not your decisions that matter, and you could just change everything out instantly. So there's no, like, sense of discovery or, you know... I mean, granted, you will never get that out of a Blizzard game, because if Blizzard makes a game two months after they make a game, there's going to be a website that tells you every piece of information that you could ever want to know about the game. Where am I supposed to go? I don't think this is where I was supposed to go. I mean, that's one of those things. It's like, wow. I mean, if you chose to isolate yourself completely, you could have your own experience of WoW and, like, actually discover stuff, but the chances are you'll just get into this, like, go, 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 like, state of mind, because that's the, pretty much the place that everybody's in. It's just go, 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 get to the next thing, because, you know, it's just a communal impatience, and, you know, you don't discover anything on your own. You're always like, well, what's this? What's that? What do I do, you know? And I don't even know. So this is the scout team that was set from the uh, Elven territories, I guess. There you are. Somewhat late, for which you can expect to be disciplined later. My team was investigating the magic... Fuck your shit, whatever. Do not get captured by some savages like I'll do what I have to do. I'm like like my character said. I'm just gonna follow the next thing that tells me where to go. That's what I'm gonna do. That guy was walking like he had to take a huge dump. He's like he's walking like he has to take a dump, but he already had the turtle head come out. He's like trying to keep it from shaking down his pant leg, which is a little confusing because he doesn't have any pants. He's like dog, dog. You do not understand how easily this turd will roll out of these short shorts. I don't know why I wear short shorts, but it must be like always sunny in Philadelphia because it's like so I can do the splits, you know. Check out my range of motion. Uh, anyway, so there you go, man. We beat uh, Act Three. Yeah, Act Three. Uh, most of the rest of the acts are kind of shorter, not as short as this act was, which took two videos. But I'm probably going to run around and do grinding types of things before we continue. So I'll probably be like level 30 when we come back or something. I'm not really sure. And I don't know if... Um, there is a quest. I think we may have started uh, do, dealing with Easter eggs. So we may do that sometime, maybe the next video. And that's kind of neat. It's. I mean, we could do it on another difficulty... I'll, I'll give it a think. I'll just roll with what I feel like doing. Uh, but I'm def we're definitely almost certainly going to be higher in level the next time we come back. Because, uh, yeah, just keep that rolling. And it's fun and stuff. So, anyway, uh, this is Bezlinger signing out. Signing out. I, I wish I could do this as Christopher Walken. That would be perfect. This is Bezlinger. No. Okay, no, no. Uh, I'll see you next time, viewers. Thanks for watching.